turn now to that situation we've been keeping an eye on 250 miles above Earth's surface, where two astronauts have had their stay on the International Space Station extended from 10 days to, well, who knows? Yeah, it's unknown. NASA still trying to decide how and when to bring them home. NBC's Tom Costello takes us through what's happening. For astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, a new tentative deadline to decide how and when they might be returning back to Earth. With NASA now saying it hopes to decide before the end of the month the best way to get them home. Let's go forward into Starliner. The pair launched into space in June as the first crewed test of Boeing Starliner. It was supposed to be a 10 day mission, but helium leaks and problems with Starliner's propulsion system have left the ship and its crew docked at the International Space Station for more than two months. The main issue those problematic thrusters are needed for a safe re entry. Our big concern is um, having a successful deorbit burn, making sure that the prop system works just the way it needs to all the way through the deorbit burn. Since docking with the station, NASA and Boeing engineers on the ground have been trying to troubleshoot the problems. The delays show that they are doing their due diligence. Former astronaut Mike Massimino says the risks associated with human space travel can lead to delays and the decision making process can get complicated. The reason that it's so hard is because you're putting people inside of this. You want to make sure you, you get the spaceship back. Um, but you sure want to get those that crew back. Part of the new urgency, the space station has two docking ports for U.S. capsules, and both are being used now. One potential scenario would involve sending Starliner back without its crew and leaving two of four seats open on an upcoming SpaceX flight to the station. That mission already pushed back a month to September. So Williams and Wilmore could return with that team, but that would mean keeping them in space until February. We are humans, and this is hard on crew members and their families, and we take that into account. But again, as professional astronauts, they're prepared for this, and they're doing great. That's Tom Costello reporting. So one problem for Sonny and Butch that has been resolved is their clothing. Yeah, so when they launched back in June, their suitcases had to be taken off the Starliner to make room for equipment the space station needed for its drinking water recycling system. Obviously, water is very important. So the duo just had to make do with whatever clothing was already on the ISS. So thankfully, a resupply ship arrived with their suitcases last week. It's like the situation of baggage claim when any of us travel, right? The suitcase shows up a little while later. It's working out for them.